Hello guys, welcome back to another video in SharePoint series. In this video, we are going to learn how Microsoft Teams and SharePoint work together, which is a very helpful to boost your team's productivity. If you are using a Teams, then it means you are already using a SharePoint. Maybe some people have not realized it, but in the backend, a SharePoint site is connected to each Teams. So let's see in detail how this team signed SharePoints are connected in this video. Here you can see we have a lot of teams. So in teams, whenever you create any new team for that particular teams, a separate SharePoint site will be automatically created by teams in the SharePoint site and which will be linked to these teams. So that means your files, whichever is kept under this team, those will be safe and version control and accessible through SharePoint as well. If you are not sure where that particular SharePoint site is located, first open that team and click on General. Go to Files tab. Under the Files tab, you can see there are three dots. When you click on that one, you will get more options regarding these teams. One of the options which you can see here is open in SharePoint. So click on this one. Now you can see the same folder which we have in Teams that is being reflected here. So this SharePoint site is interconnected with the team which we have created here. So let me upload file here. So I'm going to copy this sample 1.xls by dragging and dropping it here. So now you can see that file is successfully uploaded into our Teams channel. Now if you switch to SharePoint site and go inside this general folder, now you can see the same file which we have uploaded in Teams that is uploaded here, of course, as both are interconnected. Similarly, if you upload any file in this SharePoint site, that will be reflected in Teams channel as well. Just to verify that one, let me upload another file in this SharePoint area. So let me copy this sample file to dot csv. Now successfully we got that uploaded in the SharePoint area. So let's switch back to Teams channel. You can see that file is uploaded here as well. So these two are having the same location where your data files are located. Not only that one, you can do much more than just adding the files here. Another nice feature of collaborating of this SharePoint and Teams is you can embed the websites here within the Teams itself. For example, consider I have a website here. This is a team site which contains some nice dashboards and some events and some news and some other content here. If you want to bring that one into your Teams channel, you can do that one as well. For that one, first copy the link of this team site. So this is the URL of this team site. So let's copy this one and go back to our Teams channel. And in this Teams channel, you can see there is a plus icon at the top, which will help us to add different tabs here. So click on that one. Here you can see different applications which you can embed in this Teams. If you click on See All, you can see other apps like Power BI and lots of applications which you can embed with the Teams channel. So as we are currently interested in SharePoint, Search for that one, select that SharePoint icon. If you have created any site or pages within this current team channel, you can embed that one. If you don't have that one, you can choose this option, any SharePoint site, and paste the link of that particular site. Then click on Save. We can now observe that particular team site is added into our channel. It's not a snapshot or image of that web page. It's a fully interactive web page which we can see or use in our team site. That exact site is being embedded here. For example, if you click on the chart which is embedded here in this team site, you can see this is interactive and you can see the events and other details as well. So these two are the simple examples of how both Teams and SharePoint are collaborated each other. So Microsoft Teams and SharePoint are built to work together. So you can make most out of that one and you can make use of SharePoint libraries and other things. So that's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching this. If you like this video, please click on like button, share it with others and subscribe to my channel.